Hello, I'm Stuart Spielberger. I'm a filmmaker. I make a lot of commercials. In 1971, I walked into the Frazzle Tangerine, a small club in Los Angeles. Don't look for it, it's not there anymore. I was blown away by the world-renowned lounge singer, Tony Fabulous. I've been following his career ever since, and we've become good friends. Six years ago, he let me wrestle through a chest of his old home movies, and that's when I began to compile this documentary of his extraordinary life. What you're about to see is only a small portion of the fabulous tale of Tony Fabulous. If you like what you see, please place a donation in this jar which will be out front after the show. I encourage you to donate. Your donation. <laughs> I was only 12 years old. We're in a brand new car. Well, it was new to us. So Papa says, here's your surprise. I look up, and there I see the sign that says, Cowboy Car Wash. It was Naples' first car wash. Are you ready for your first car wash? <laughs> I'm excited. He pulls the car up into the entrance, turns the engine off, and then all of a sudden, everything changed. The car is being sucked into the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. There are two spinning tornadoes. It was dark inside, and there was a massive sound, a roaring sound. We're being sucked. All of a sudden, before I know it, I'm all alone. My parents aren't there. I look for them. They're not there. I'm scared. I'm frightened. I hear the roaring sound. All of a sudden, water is spraying. And there's tentacles slapping against the window, trying to reach for me, but not getting through the windshield. Slapping, flap, flap, spinning, water, spinning, flap, terror, scared, scared, frightened, frightened, I'm frightened, I'm frightened. Then all of a sudden, it stops, and then it's light. So Antonio, how was it? Your first car wash. <laughs> and there she was, the golden angel, waving to me, wearing her cowboy vest, and I'll never forget, she had the biggest set of boots I'd have ever seen. I'm feeling a rainbow shining inside. I'm getting a strange glow. There's no way to hide. You're making the clouds go, watching you smile. You give me this tingling kind of thing I'm digging your style I'm feeling a rainbow Sunshine above You're making the rain Rain go away It's gotta be love You're my golden angel Guiding my way I'm keeping a rainbow Starting today, keychain. I'm feeling a rainbow. Hey, hey, sunshine above. You're making the rain. Around her neck, she had a scented car tree. She takes it off from her neck, places it around my neck. My life has never been the same since that moment. Ha! I'm keeping a rainbow in my heart. I'm keeping that rainbow in my heart. I'm gonna get a rainbow in my heart starting today. Yeah. 
This is the, my West Coast dressing room. I've got one on the East Coast. I also have one right in the middle, smack dab in the United States. I never use that one because I don't do any gigs there. Dawn breaks through the darkness with you sleeping next to me. An angel sent from heaven to fill my life with ecstasy. After all the magic, babe, it seems like such a shame. But I just don't remember your name. I recall our greeting and the photograph I signed. The dozen verbal cocktails that they brought me as we dined. After that, I'm foggy, babe, on how passion lit our flame. And I just Mr. Fabulous, what makes you so fabulous? I give 100%. No, I don't give 100%. I give 140% with each and every concert. Once, I gave 150%, and I got a nosebleed. I learned from that. If I get it wrong, will your heart break? I better look into your purse before you wait. So I slip out through the covers and I rummage through your back. I come across an ID and my heart begins to sag. You look so lovely sleeping there that I simply don't believe that your driver's license says your name is Steve. So, Tony, what is the secret to your success? I gotta check something, just one moment. Oh, yeah! Perfect. I love this mirror. You are fabulous. I love this mirror, but I really, really, really love this mirror. My success, I attribute most of my success to my folks, to the love of my folks. God rest their souls. I'll never forget my mom before every concert would say, come here, honey, come here, honey, and give your mama some sugar. That means a kiss in my language, in her language. And my papa would say something to this, Alila del sonio più prezioso, which means we didn't know what it meant. <laughs> it meant something, it was supportive, something, have a good show, something to that effect. But my parents, I attribute my success to my beautiful parents. Hey, world famous surfer. How did Tony affect your life? Man, I lived in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and I was an investment banker back there. You know, I had all the typical dreams. Big house, fancy car, beautiful wife. I was well on my way to that dream, and my wife suggested we go to California for our honeymoon. We went out here and just happened to go by Malibu, and I saw people surfing, and one person really stuck out in my mind, and that was Tony Fabulous. I realized right then and there, my dreams weren't back there. My dreams are here. I want to be able to surf just like Tony. He's incredible. He's, he's magic. And I uh, told my wife that. And she left. She moved back. And right now, life is going good. I'm managing uh, at Surf Burger. I'm in charge of fries. And I'm stoked. I get to go out, get to chase my dreams. Surf's going off right now. I got to bail. See ya. Grew up in Romania, cute as can be. Taught herself to surf down in the Black Sea. Came to Malibu from the communist bloc. Now she's free to ride and she's ready to rock. Shoot that curl, big wave baby, shoot that curl. That's my girl, big wave baby, that's my girl. Every night she cooks Romanian steak Then 
she's up at dawn and riding the brake. Her board's all waxed and her smile is looking so fine. The way she serves is boss and she's mine, all oh mine. Shoot that curl, big wave, baby, shoot that curl. That's my girl, big wave, baby, that's my girl. You have a fabulous career and an adoring audience. Tell us one of your favorite stories. One of my biggest fans, probably weighed 250 pounds, comes up to me and says, Mr. Fabulous, tell me this. What is the greatest thing about being Tony Fabulous? Well, my friend and me were drinking, having quite a time. Went into the place, walked a pretty face, made a temperature start to climb. When two men want a woman, there ain't no need to fight. My friend proposed a simple way to keep the choice polite. He called it rock, scissors, paper. Paper, scissors, rock. When it gets a special treat, a loser takes a walk. They called it rock, scissors, paper. One of us win. Just keep in mind, you'll often find the line runs pretty thin. I never thought of an answer for that question until he asked that question. Isn't that funny? And hit on her like mad. Next thing you know, with eyes aglow, they went up to her pad. She said, now here's the situation. I'm the wife of a jealous man. Now you can stay or walk away. But here's the simple plan. I call it right. I said to him, what's the greatest thing about being Tony Fabulous? It's the joy that I get from seeing the joy of my audience watching me sharing the joy that I'm giving. It's a circle of joy. Well, things got hot and heavy late that very night. So they couldn't hear when the man drew near and had them in his sight. He said, now I got a mind to kill you. But first, the game of fun. I win, I get to shoot you dead. You win, I get to run. I call it rock, scissors, paper. Paper, scissors, rock. When it gets a special treat, a loser takes a walk. They call it If I could take rock, all the hate in the world and wrap it in a big ball and take that ball and strap it to the side of a rocket, and fire that rocket into space and blow it up. All the hate in the world would be gone. But then I started thinking, all the hate would have been blown up into the atmosphere, into the outer atmosphere, and would spread throughout the universe. And then the aliens might come down and kill us. That's right. This goes out to all the little people who made me the big star that I am. There's Omar at the self-serve, who's always got a grin. He hits me up for autographs whenever I walk in. And there's Peggy Sue in Dallas, putting cookies in the mail. By the time they get to me, they're all dried up and stale. Here's one for the little people. The average Joe. The common chain. Here's one for the diehard Johnny Superfan. You pay my bills, who cares if you're insane? There's Bonnie in the big house. She's doing five to ten. She swears we're gonna marry when she breaks out of the pen. And there's a tribe down in the Amazon. I sent them a CD. And now they slaughter chickens as a sacrifice to me. Here's, I'm so honored, one before the little people. The average Joe, the common chain.